That's definitely got the best job here, hasn't it? <laughs> yes. All good. Can't believe it. First video of the year. Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's 2023, so happy new year. Hope you all had a brilliant Christmas. We're back on the mansion build today and for the next couple of weeks. Today, so far, we've blasted up this brickwork down this alleyway here up to lintel height where we've racked back and then we've just taken up an extra three courses which allows for our soldiers to go on tomorrow when we sit all of our lintels on this year i've taken on someone new he's a, a bit of an improver a bit like drew so we've had a little test this morning to see how things are going and it's pretty good the job's moving really quick so i'm really happy with that i am going to be taking on some of my own work this year so i'm going to leave my email address up on the screen now any extensions garden walls or things like that you want doing in derby drop me an email and i'll get over to you anyway for now me and drew are going to hop on the trowel and we'll get some blasting done so i'll catch up with you in a bit weird, weird trying to get the hand please the back you'll get it mate you'll get it look at this machine go <laughs> i'm loving this Morning and welcome back to the job. Yesterday we were just so busy that we didn't get much filming done and it was too windy to even film anyway. However, Santa bought me a mic for Christmas. So today we're going to do a lot of filming we're going to blast all the way down here um, and then blast on the front so lots more laying today yesterday was the first time myself drew and jack all worked together as a two and one gang maybe a i don't know what sort of gang this is but basically now nah, we've got a brick layer and we've also got two improvers drew is decent on the trowel he can lay bricks pretty easily perp well Jack, he's not had too much time on the trowel, but he picked it up yesterday. And you can just tell pretty much straight away when someone picks up the trowel, if they're going to be any good or not. And F, yesterday, F1 was laying perfectly. So it was a good day, weren't it, Joe? Yeah, Whenever the camera's on, the worst, the worst filming. Honestly, yesterday, I think you got like a tiny kiss me and I was there like, yo, I just ate this bit completely wrong. Right, you know when you someone sticks the camera on you and goes, right, do that. It's actually quite odd, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously, I've created these boundaries for ourselves. <laughs> you like the I love the struggle. I love the struggle. Comes Jack with a compo. Yes. Right, throw that on the bottom course. Yeah. Right, uh, both here, yeah, Drew and Jack. Uh, one more bucket up each, and then both get your trials out, get laying. Because we're set up now, aren't we? Yeah. You got enough compo? Uh, Don't worry about it, just get laying. Yeah, I think they're all in the toolbox. Uh, grab my 13, grab your 10 inch, and then Drew can have this little seven I'm playing with. Oh, get out. Just a big shuffle. Oh, Jack, you know when you're, um, so yesterday you built like all the gables, didn't you? Which are all solid. You know when you come to build up to window reveals like this, so this is your window reveal with there, there, or a door jam or a window jam, whatever you want to call it. I spoke to you yesterday, then I really briefly. Instead of putting your half there first, yeah. you put a full brick there first, yeah. and then your half. And then that way, that's not moving. Because if you put that first and then that up to it, you'll move it. 
okay and then once you're a bit more experienced you plumb every three courses okay but for now because obviously you're a baby plumb every one course okay so obviously you're just checking to make sure that it is plumb which it is and then you, you see how we've got a little gap there yeah move that brick to the level making sure it's plumb okay. just make sure it's nice yeah yep. just like that Oops. perfecto easy peasy sam good work Me and Drax built all of the back up earlier. We've got everywhere up to lintel height and we've just wrapped back everywhere. I think I've got a few clips of the entire gang laying, which is good. Uh, and it went really well, pretty speedy. So yeah, Jack's coming along very nicely. Right now I'm just building on this front. Like from the start of this build, you've seen me use a profile setup for all of these dog legs. I've done it all the way up. However, sometimes it's just better and quicker to use a level rather than set a profile up there, here, there, and there. And you spend half the time putting that line up, walking over there, putting that line up, checking it. It's sometimes just quicker to check everything with a level and tape. Anyway, so me and Drew are now up here doing this. Jack's down there sorting the entire job out and uh, yeah, it's going pretty well, isn't it, Drew? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know when I'm like building a corner here? Yeah. But this goes for both of you, I guess. Because um, I've not got a profile, I've not really got like a stop end to build to. So what I'm doing, I'm casting my eye from this point all the way down. You know how we uh, earlier we spoke yeah. about building the reveal? Yeah. So all I'm doing when I lay this brick here, I'm kind of casting my eye all the way down just to make sure it's almost right. And then when I come to put the level up it, if I've done it half right, sand little shove over but like I say it's not bad so yeah that's just some bear in mind if you're building freehand how can we always build the corners like that what as in what like a pyramid yeah it's just how you do it because if I weren't to build like a pyramid like this I could just build all the way around like one course yeah, at a yeah. time but it's just slow if I build up a pyramid like this I've already set all my heights oh, okay. so I know that this works gauge yeah I've already set all my levels because it's plumb, like there and there. So when I come to build all of this, I can just range it in from this plumb point. Okay. So this is like my profile or my corner yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. So I can trust this to go off that way. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I haven't seen babe page in ages. What's he got? Yes, okay, so we have just wrapped up. It's about quarter past four at the moment. Me and Drew have just pointed up the entire job and had a really good tidy up. <coughs> Sorry. 
This week's saying we only laid for two days. The gang as a whole worked really well together. We got this entire panel up, we got that panel up, the back panel up, and those two dog legs over there on the front. So yeah, really, really productive couple of days. Really pleased with how the team is working together. Next week, we're gonna be sitting on the soldiers. At the moment, we're just waiting for everything to go off. Once the brickwork below is dry, we'll be able to sit on all the lintels and then do all the soldiers across the back. The front, we've got some big lintels going on. We've got cladding and block work just above them. So no soldiers. And then next week, we've got the middle walls going all the way up, the rest of the block work going up uh wall plate going on and then we've got three steels coming on tuesday hopefully and we're gonna be sitting on all the steels so there's gonna be a lot of messing about next week and we've also got the old boy coming in to do some more block work so we'll see how that goes anyway on that note we'll catch you guys in the next one hope you guys have enjoyed me drew and jack working away yeah like subscribe comment see you see you in a bit yeah <laughs> see you in a bit <laughs>